Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you're watching the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled, Living on Less. Well, cross-country moves sure have a way of getting certain things into perspective. Take creature comfort, for example. By the last days before we left Oklahoma, every lamp, comfortable chair, toothbrush holder, and coffee cup had been packed away. We lived like gypsies, eating out of paper plates, sleeping on mattresses stripped of box springs and comforters, sitting on those chairs and boxes we felt could be stowed away at the very last minute. Our menu was reduced to chocolate milk and toast or apple pie for supper and McDonald's reserved for our hot meal of the day. All other foodstuffs were either finished off before the movers came or sealed tight in preparation for the long trip west. One interesting feature of our little adventure, however, in living on less, was that for the most part, we didn't miss our stuff all that much. The family in-jokes kept us happily amused and the kids watched the football game sprawled out on the empty living room floor, you know, TVs being the absolute last thing on the moving van. During this time, I was reminded of Paul's counsel in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 8, which said, but if we have food and covering, with these we shall be content. Of course, Paul is not suggesting that we can't have more than just food and covering, but rather that one can be content when he has these. The rest usually depends on the ups and downs of life. I'm happy to be unpacking and finding my comfy lazy boy once again, but I hope that this last month's lesson about living on less stays with me. I wouldn't want to relearn it with another move anytime soon. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalonga and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you again soon, bye-bye.